Okay guys, I'm going to walk you through, I know last night's lesson was really hard and since so many of you um, picked the same building, I'm going to walk you through the steps and show you a couple of techniques I didn't have a chance to go over last night in terms of how to get these angles right and how to start on the buildings and how to get structured. I totally did this and then realized that um, the video camera wasn't on, so now we're good. <laughs> You'll notice I've kind of given myself a grid that's exactly the same shape as this so that we're doing a complete one-to-one -one transition. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, and this is a really awesome technique. Ignore those two black lines there. You're not going to do that first. You're going to start... Oh, I could also give myself a halfway point here. So I'll give myself a little bit... Ooh, that's not right. Point one, point one. Yeah, well, didn't measure that very well, so let's get back into, let's get the proper measurements. starting here. Okay. I know this stuff feels like very, you know, <laughs> but when you're sketching out, you can't basically be too anal. There we go. So that's right on this side. Then this just needs to come out a little bit more. You'll see later. These angles make a difference. Okay. Ignoring that. So I'm dividing this little area in half, and then I'm doing it on this side. Point three. Often centimeters is the easier way to go. It's 10.4. So I'm giving myself a small grid, but not one, you can see I've already kind of drawn it in here, so I'll redraw it again. Just to kind of help me locate certain things. I wouldn't do more than this, you're going to have a lot of crisscrossing lines coming up. And the first set of lines I'm going to draw are going to be these outside lines, these angles. And look what I'm doing. I'm extending the line from one edge of the paper to the other. So even though this stops here, you can bring this forward. And then on the bottom side here, okay, I'm bringing that guy in. And then I'm going to do this line here. And notice I'm kind of going through. I'm not even, I'm just getting the edge and I'm not paying attention to this little triangle out here. I can add that in later. So what's the value of this? Well, when you're doing a one-to-one -one transmission, you can actually measure where these start here and where this ends, 2.5. See that? So I can sketch this lately so I can get rid of it later. Right? I've got this top line here. Now I can add the bottom line in and start. You can measure from any place as long as you remember where you measure from. That's four. This is four. This is 3.4. Right? Notice a couple of things about this. Number one, 
This line is not as angled as this line. This is more sharply angled because it's higher above eye level. So if we draw these guys, we continue to draw them, they will come together. It might into a vanishing point. It might not be on the paper, but it's gonna happen and you'll see it. So a lot of people make the mistake of making this line parallel and this line parallel. They are not parallel. Each of these lines has a slightly different angle. Notice also that this line, when we draw it across, also captures this side of the building. So you're gonna see a lot of continuations like that in buildings. Buildings are very structured and have kind of mathematical proportions. All right, after doing that, I'm gonna draw this line. So that's here, 4.7. I don't want to hear any of you saying this is cheating. This is not cheating. Uh, I, as I said, I've been drawing buildings, these really sort of jacked up perspectives for about two years now, pretty much daily. And I'd say for the first year I drew them like this because I was never really clear on what was happening with my lines. So there I have the outside of the building. And if I want to add this in, it's just this little triangle of shape. Cool, huh? If I want to, I can also add the lines of this building, which I might as well do since there's some structures that are the same. So I'm drawing a line here. And notice I'm actually having to go through another building to find the line here. So every time, I'm telling you, it is not not terrible. I can find my point here, and I might just point two here. I can find my lines. If I want to, I can measure here too, just to make sure I'm being really accurate if I want to be really on my center line here. That looks about right. Point two. So, so you're not having to get second guess yourself because the thing is these angles aren't what you think they are. I don't even have to continue this line if I don't want to. I can kind of stop it at the edge, but I know where those edges are. And this one, which is here. Mm -hmm. I've got that one marked down here. The big question, of course, is not to get too confused with your lines. That's easy to do. 7.4. Right. So I know my angles are correct. No, oh, I moved it and then put that in the wrong place. <laughs> it goes down here. Right. These go up here. Centimeters is almost always easier for measuring. It's the units make more sense. They're organized in structures that make sense. And let's see, that ends about here, point five. So starting here, which is where I know the building actually starts, I can draw this line in. So there we go. I have my building. I have my two buildings here in their sort of basic outer structures. Erase this here. Do that, I'll draw these lines in harder so you can see them. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm using these cross lines to sort of check. So these are the first lines that you're drawing. You're never trying to draw the window sills. Okay. All right, these are the building. There we go. We have buildings. Okay, so the second thing you're going to do, your tendency is going to be to want to do this. You could, but it's better to actually get your window, the vertical edges of your windows. So you see here I've drawn these two lines. Treat your windows as verticals and horizontals. So you're going to be kind of checking them, their measurements from several different places. And before you're treating them as each window, you're going to be trying to get the trajectory of all of them. So this is 1.1. See how easy this is? I mean, it's not easy and it's painstaking, but it's doable. Four. Okay. 2.1, Later you'll find you're going to be better at this. It's going to get easier. You'll be able to evaluate your angles. Particularly, there's certain buildings, I structures I draw over and over again. Um, so those, oops, totally forgot what that was. Point four, right. Those ones, I'm less likely. So here's my window line. Notice that each none of these lines are parallel. They are all going towards a vanishing point, every single one. See, you might think that doesn't even look right, <laughs> but it is right. And then I can start drawing my vertical lines like this one. Okay, once again. Once again, much easier. Right. So when I get to get the bottom of my window line, I've got it. Notice that this line actually lines up with the top of the window line on the other building. So I can add that in too. <laughs> See? So you're getting like more, so you're, you're pulling these structures out before you're remotely trying to get into what's happening here. The next ones I would do would be here. And I'd say 